The Mona MO3 is the first vehicle from the sub-brand of Xpeng. I'm calling it a sub-brand, they may choose to use a different term. Mona stands for Made of New AI. That's right, nobody wants to make great cars anymore, everyone wants to be known for AI. Maybe I should start another channel. Going beyond the marketing, Mona's origins go back to Didi, the Chinese ride-sharing business who began work on a smart EV program called Da Vinci. That's a cool name, but they wanted to exit that project and focus on their core business. Enter Xpeng, who acquired the intellectual property in an all-stock acquisition. The original goal of Project Da Vinci was to make a smart EV with a target price of 150,000 won. That's just over $20,000 in the US. We'll talk about that number at the end of the video. Mona MO3 has a sporty sedan shape, but the rear opens like a hatch for more cargo utility. This is a China market EV, for now, with a lot of competition. Size-wise, it's basically the same as the Tesla Model 3, but significantly smaller than the Xiaomi Su7. Xpeng said the car underwent extensive wind tunnel testing to get a drag coefficient of 0.194, making it more aerodynamic. Oh, come on. It's 0.001 better than the Su7. Fine. But you do see some interesting details in the design to achieve that. Up front, it has active grille shutters to close out the openings when not needed. At the rear, there are fins at the bottom of each C pillar to help with aero. Xpong said the extensive wind tunnel testing added 60 kilometers to the range of the vehicle. Mona will be sold in the same showroom as Xpong vehicles with their robot face, so it has a unique design language that will help it to stand out. Overall, I like the front, not so much the rear. Call it driver assistance, call it self-driving, Xpong calls it XNGP, and Mona will offer it too. Both Xpong and Xiaomi offer two levels of ADAS systems, Pro and Max. Pro is the standard system, Max is the optional one, and it adds LiDAR sensors plus more processing. Meanwhile, Tesla FSD is just a camera-based system. Xiaomi puts the LiDAR sensor in a bubble at the top of the windshield. Xpong tends to neatly integrate them into the headlight assemblies. On the Mona MO3, it does not appear to have any LiDAR sensor in that headlight assembly. We'll have to wait and see when the car launches in August. To keep costs down, Maybe they only offer the Pro system. It's a battery electric vehicle, so let's talk BEV specs. At its early reveal, Xpong said the range will be 620 kilometers on China's CLTC test. That sounds great, but probably only translates to about 280 miles on the EPA. It's only a little better than the Tesla Model 3, but much less than the Su7. Reading reports after the event, a smaller standard range battery will deliver much less range, albeit at a lower cost. Batteries for the Mona MO3 are being supplied by BYD. CALB is Xpong's largest battery supplier, but not for this one. Energy gets delivered to a single motor, but there are two options, neither of which are as powerful as the single motor versions of the Model 3 or Su7. Interior details and official images were not revealed at this early event based on spy photos and descriptions from reporters who were not allowed to take pictures but did see the interior expect a two-spoke steering wheel and one large central landscape display in the middle, not unlike other Xpong vehicle. Xpong has been putting a lot of effort into its personal assistant technology, you know, AI, expect this to play a major role in the launch of this EV. But nothing compares to the starting price. He Xiaopeng told us what the price will be, below 200,000 RMB, below 27,500 US dollars, not that it's gonna be sold here. Compared to Tesla and Xiaomi, that's not a great deal for a car with less power and less range, which takes us back to the Da Vinci project from Didi, Reports were that they had a target of 150,000, which is below 200,000, way below. It appears that we're getting set up 
they're not lying to us. They're just understating the truth. If priced way below 200,000, the lower power and lower range makes sense. And you still get a premium AI self-driving experience. I look forward to the full reveal. As for exports, Xpong got hit with a stiff tariff increase by the EU, but it's not terrible. Xpong doesn't sell in North America and unlikely to do so anytime soon. I hope you enjoyed this early look at what we know of the Mona MO3. Thank you for watching.